Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we are going to be talking about the one book that helps me to organize my entire life. So every now and then, I want to do an update on my Tom Liney Planner, which is the one book that I use to organize my entire life, talk through how this system has helped me and how I currently use it to manage every single area of my life. But if you're brand new around here, hi, I'm Elena, and this is the Organize Money, where where we talk about planning life and managing money. This is my Tom 90 planner. It is a completely customizable planner that I create and sell within my Etsy shop. In the Etsy shop, this planner comes with four sections. However, I have customized mine with six sections. You are able to add sections or take out sections, just depending on how you want to customize your planner. A little bit about the construction of this planner. I do have a black cover. This is a faux leather cover on top. You can get this cover if you're interested. It also has one inch gold disc on the side in order to bind it. I use the disc binding system. I love this system because you are able to remove pages and add pages as you see fit. And I feel like that makes it really customizable, really easy for me to stay on top of everything that I need in this system. When you first open it up, you do see the Tom 90 planner cover. And then we go into the very first section of my planner. So I keep one month of every single section within this planner. And I keep one month because I have six sections. However, if you order this planner as is with no changes, you will have four sections and you will have three months of each one of those sections, which is why it's called the Tom 90 planner because it's a 90 day planner in order for you to organize an entire quarter in every single area that you need to. So the very first section that I have in mind is my schedule planner. This is the one planner that has not changed. Since I started this system, I have always used an hourly planner. Hourly planner just really, really works well for my life. I like to time block my day. And if you are a person that likes to time block and stay on top of different things that's coming up according to time, then this is the best planner for you. This is my weekly hourly planner. When you first open it, you do see my goals, which I set a goal in multiple areas of my life, my spiritual goal, mental, physical, relational, and financial. I do have a video on this, so I will link that one above. And then after this, I have all of my routines. This is my AM, midday, PM routine, my work routine, weekly, monthly, annual, and my self-care routine. I am not doing them all, all the time. Usually I am doing certain ones throughout the day, throughout the month, throughout the year. Year. but I do like to have them all listed on this page so that I can easily flip back and forth and see what I have done and what I have not done. After this, we go into the current month that I am in. So right now we're in the month of March and this is my monthly overview page. Currently, I am using it to track my goals, my habits, the book that I am currently reading, the word of the year, and what I am planning on doing for Bible study. I also have a quote down here. I have an idea to track my habits on my monthly overview however I don't use it as often as I thought I would I thought I was going to highlight each one every single week or day but many times I kind of forgot about it so I'm not sure I'm going to keep this exact system however I do like to try things all the time within this planner after this we have my monthly overview for my schedule planner this is where I'm going to keep all of the appointments due dates and meetings that that I have to do across all of the different areas of my life. So I have personal things like hair appointments. I also have doctor appointments in here, but I also have work events like my budget on paper class and the book club that I needed to teach. I have church events in here and client meetings and counseling sessions. So this is my overview calendar. This is where I will look if I need to see if I am booked or busy for any particular day because this is the one that 
that serves as my hub of everything that I need to do for a month. After this, we go into the weekly pages. This is my hourly planner. This is the one that I use the most. It is my catch-all planner. So I have listed in my hourly every single thing that's coming up every single week. So all appointments, all of my to-dos, anything that I need to schedule, workouts, what I'm eating, all of that will go in here as well. So this section is where I am keeping up with all of my routines and all of the different things that I need to do. And it is considered my schedule section. This is the one that I feel like most people will use in order to help them to organize their day. After this section, I have a bottom tab. So I have top tabs and bottom tabs. The top tabs is where I will flip to for a particular section of my planner. Like if I am trying to get to my schedule section, I will go to this top tab. However, I do have a bottom tab for a lot of my inserts. And the very first bottom tab I have here is my future section. So my future section is where I keep portrait style calendars that are for upcoming months. I do this because I only have the current month within my planning system. So since I only have the current month, I need a spot to store all of the different things that are coming up in future months. So I have April in here, I have May and I have June. So it's the upcoming quarter, everything that's coming up for the quarter. I also have my kids school schedule, the different holidays that are coming up for the parish and so I keep that in there as well so that I know how to mark off any of their holidays events just different things that are going on but I will mark off just different things as they are coming up so that I can keep up with them and then the very next tab I have in here is my to-do planner my to-do planner is where I am marking off all of the different areas that I need to complete different things and what I may need to complete complete for that area. So if you flip to my to-do section for the current week, this is a dashboard planner. Let me show you the monthly calendar I am using in order to set up everything that's coming up for social media. So my schedule planner has all of the things I need to do throughout the day, any appointments, any meetings. This calendar really serves as deadlines for work. So I will put in the YouTube videos that I want to do or the events that I need to speak at or the classes I need to teach. All of that will go on my to-do planner. This is my hub for everything that lets me know a deadline is coming up for work. And then when you flip to the weekly section, which is my dashboard planner, this is where I'm going to mark off all of the different areas where I need to complete something. And so I have our church here, personal, organized money and filming. So Anything I need to do for my church, I will put in this section. Anything that I need to do personally, like scheduling dentist appointments or doing different things, it will go in this section. The organized money, when it comes down to articles that I need to write or deadlines that I have for certain brands and then different things that I want to film for YouTube or for my membership. So I will do all of that on the left side of my dashboard planner. And then on the right side, I am further working out all of the different things that I am going to post. So this one really serves as like a social media slash to-do planner. I kind of use it for both because I realized that I didn't have enough information just to have a planner dedicated just to my to-dos. A lot of times I will add different to-dos in the very front part. So I felt like it was redundant to write it here and here. So this area is the things that I absolutely need to get done this week. This one serves more as things I need to do for social media this week, but then also other things that I just need to do at some point throughout the month. And so it's mainly like a running list of different things that I need to complete. 
Now, I have seen people use the dashboard planner in many different ways. I have seen them use it as a home planner or a work planner. So it's completely up to you, but I really, really love this one for lists. I use it a lot to just kind of keep track of the different lists that I need to have throughout my month. And I will use this side for other things that I need to do that I could not fit within my schedule planner. The next planner in my system is one that I really have repurposed reused over time but this is my monthly planner and I am currently using this one in order to stay on top of notes and meetings that I am having throughout the month this one's pretty new to my system because in the past I would use my brainstorming notebook now I'm not completely away from this one yet I still will use it from time to time but I did decide to have a section within my planner that would coincide with this brainstorming notebook. And it's because sometimes I just wanted it to be a little bit more organized. Sometimes I wanted to be able to look up when I had a meeting and be able to flip to notes that were organized within that section of my planner. So sometimes I would write notes within this notebook and they were not dated. I did not know exactly when a meeting had occurred or what exactly had happened. And I found myself flipping back and forth through this notebook because because of the way that it was set up. So I decided to add along with this one. I still use this from time to time, but for the most part, I am now currently using this. Now, I'm not saying that that's going to last forever because I have been known to flip back and forth between using a brainstorming notebook and using my planner instead. Right now, I am loving just using my planner. I have only been carrying my planner around and it really has been working for me. So let me show you how I have been using this for my notes or my brainstorming section. I have different things that I want to do on my monthly overview page. So I have organized money. I also have organized money expenses, just different bills that I needed to pay. I also have some things for the church, but it is a spot for notes, for meetings, things that are coming up that I just want to write down a bunch of notes. Like I said, this one is pretty new. So as you can see, I didn't even fill it out for the entire month. I just recently decided to add it in here and test it out for the next couple of weeks but the reason why I love a monthly planner is because you have your monthly overview and the idea is when I set up different meetings different notes that I decide to write that I am going to write it here first because if I have it on my monthly page if I have that I have decided to start talking about setting up your planner for action then I know that this note is within this section of my planner. I don't have to flip back and forth through pages. I don't have to look back at last month. I can easily see all of the notes that I created and the date that I created them. So that is the goal of this planner is that I am able to see when a meeting occurred and flip to the page where I took those meeting notes or when I talked with a specific client and flip to what we talked about at that time. So on my monthly calendar, I will write down what meeting meetings I am having, what video I watch, whatever inspired these notes that I am writing within my monthly planner. And then my monthly planner, I will just have the date and I will write out the notes. So that's how I've been using this and it really, really has been helping me. I have been using it for church. I have been using it for the different things that I am reading, the videos I am watching. It's kind of like a commonplace notebook. So we're gonna see how it goes. Now, because this one's pretty new to my system, it doesn't automatically come with my Tom 90 planner if you do decide to order it. However, you can add it as a separate section or you can switch out one of the other plans that I do have within the system. So if you say, you know what, I don't think I need a dashboard planner. I don't think I need this particular planner, but I do need the monthly planner instead. Then you can add a note to the seller in your Etsy order and tell me to switch out my dashboard planner for the monthly planner instead. I have been loving both though, cause I feel like my to-do planner is where I can list out a bunch of different things that I need to do. But if I need to elaborate and add more notes, then I can come to my notes 
planner. The planner I have in here is my faith planner. Now my faith planner is one that is very personal to me, but it is a horizontal planner. This is the one where I will write out different scriptures on my monthly page and I will write out additional notes throughout the week. If I am watching a spiritual video or reading an article or listening to a podcast, many times I want to take notes and so I will do that within my faith planner, especially if it's spiritually related. So this planner, when it's blank, it looks like this. You have the days of the week. You also have an additional section for notes. And with this one, I am just jotting down everything that is coming up throughout the week, or I am taking time to just do some type of Bible study. I use this one for faith. However, I do know people who will use this for reading or journaling, just keeping up with different things that they are reading throughout the week. This one is included within the Tom 90 planner as is you get three months of a horizontal planner where you can write down anything that is coming up throughout the month. So this planner is the planner that really keeps me spiritually focused. I really, really love this one in order to make sure that I am staying on top of my self-care, my self-awareness, prioritizing Bible study because it's super important to me. All within this one system, if I didn't have this one book to help me to organize everything, I feel like I would lose track of doing my Bible studies, making sure I'm praying every day, doing devotionals and things like that why I like to have this one book that helps me to organize my entire life. The next tab that I have in here is my daily tab. Now this is an insert that I created. I do have daily planning inserts within my Etsy shop because this one is traditionally not a planner. There is no monthly to this one. It is just plan your day sheets. And I love this one to replan. So what normally will happen is I will schedule my day within my schedule planner and I will list out all of the things that I believe are going to happen and how I think my day is going to flow. And sometimes I will wake up and the entire day is thrown off. Nothing is going the way that I thought it was gonna go. Everything is kind of turned upside down and I'm trying to figure out how I am going to reschedule and reprioritize different things on my day because I'm already behind time. When that happens, I will flip to my plan your day sheets. I will use them only when my day is completely thrown off. So as you can see, I use one on the first and then I didn't use it again until until the 11th. So I'm only usually replanning my day a couple times throughout the month, but it is pivotal whenever my day is completely thrown off. Whenever I feel overwhelmed, stressed, or anxious, I will pull out this section of my planner and replan, and then I feel more at ease and ready to take on my day. That's how I use this section. I added these into my planner because they really, really do help me as the month is going along, especially when my days are thrown off or I'm just having a really, really busy day and I wanna make sure that I'm sticking to schedule. My daily planner goes from 6 a.m. until 3 a.m., so even if you have a late, late night, you can plan that out. I also have my to-do list, breakfast, lunch, dinner, and snack. And then you have an additional section here for notes. I will usually add a quote here or a scripture, just something to keep me inspired because if I'm using this sheet, then usually that means my day has already been thrown off. And the last section in my planner is my budget section. So my budget section is dedicated to my money. I have my goal sheet, my money routine, all of my trackers, just the different things that are coming up. When money is coming into my account, when it is leaving my account, I will use this planner in order to stay on top of all of it. Within here, I do have my monthly calendar, and this calendar is where I will write out all of my bills. I will usually color code by the week, because I get paid every single Wednesday. And then I have my monthly budget. My monthly budget is where I'm keeping track of all of my bills, all of my paychecks as they are coming in. And I am paying things, writing in red, and staying on top of all of our finances. This is the last section in my Tom 90 planner. I do have some additional insert sheets in the back here in case I need to write out any expenses that are coming up. But I absolutely 
absolutely love this one book that helps me to organize everything. I know every now and then I will have new people who do not understand how the system exactly works. And so I love to update you all on how I'm using it, how it works for me and how you can set up your own. So like I said, if you wanted to set up your own, if you just order just the Tom 90 planner as is no changes, no customizations, you get the hourly planner, the dashboard planner, the horizontal planner, and the budget planner. You get three months of each one of those planners. And of course, if you have any questions, you can leave it in the comments below. And I would love, love, love to talk to you more about how you could adapt this system, how you can use it to organize your entire life. So guys, that's it for this video. I hope that this one has helped you and I will see you in my next video. Until then, keep organizing your life so that you can achieve your dreams. Bye guys.